Hi Cancer, this is Terribly Accurate. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you're new, welcome. Thanks for showing up. I hope you come back again. If you've liked any of my videos or you've subscribed to them, thanks so much for your support. You're the reason why I do these. And then um, somebody asked me a question recently, so I just wanted to bring this up. When you're watching your videos um, and you don't want them to continually replay just things from YouTube, you can shut it off so it doesn't say autoplay anymore. Or if you do want them to, but you want it to stay um, within what's current, I don't know how to do that for your specific sign for all readers, but for mine, there are playlists for each sign. So if you um, start watching a video and you select it from the playlist, then you'll just continue to watch everything that's current for this month. So if you're watching your general one, but you wanted to know about love, it'll just automatically roll that way. So now that that's handled, we'll get started. Um, this is your love reading for singles and couples. And uh, this is for July 8th through August 8th. So what do we have here for singles? Single cancers. Okay, first thing, the fool. It's kind of like being brave about being single and being open to new opportunities, trusting that everything is going to work out, just kind of going on a new adventure, not knowing where it's ending up. Um, but just, you know, trusting for the best, having a good time, having fun, and it's going to lead to your ultimate happily ever after to a lot of fulfillment and joy. So that would mean for some of you single cancers, real, you're, you might be meeting, you know, your forever person. Um, oh my goodness, you guys just have such a good reading, single cancers. This is the lover's card. So not only are they going to be like a very stable person in your life that brings you a lot of joy, good conversation, maybe somebody you could have kids with, um, good sex as well <laughs> and really good communication so wow wow be be open to that you know I think the message here for cancer is if you're looking for love if you're looking for this sort of thing if the time is right in your life is to not be afraid that's really the message because the fool is all about having blind faith and just stepping over the side of a cliff and hoping you know that you land in a valley of marshmallows instead of rocks that's what this is about so, wow, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> and then for coupled cancers, what do we have going on? The six of pentacles in reverse. So one of you is giving to the relationship more than the other person. Um, and that could be emotionally, that could be financially as well, because, you know, it is a pentacles card. Maybe some, maybe there's an income disparity, um, and oh so ace of swords it's like you're not able to communicate this issue effectively you're just not um and maybe maybe it's not that you can't it's that you don't you know especially but it is causing a tremendous amount of instability in your life okay so here's the deal i feel like this is going to apply to one person at least the way that I'm reading this right now, this is important for somebody, where it's like maybe, for example, you're a female, okay, and you make a lot more money than your partner, and that hurts their feelings. It emasculates, you know, your male partner, if you're straight, that you're making more money than they are, so you don't want to bring it up. You don't want them to feel bad about themselves, but at the same time, it's causing disharmony because maybe they get grumpy and things when you want to spend money, things like that. I mean, it doesn't have to be that, but that's just an example where the balance is off, but there's just an elephant in the room that is not that you're not communicating about, and it just it makes things unstable. It's also one of those things, and I don't even know that things are unstable, but it's more that like it makes it very difficult to really consider seeing yourself with this person long term in a marriage where you have children, that sort of a thing, because it's always an elephant in the room. It has been for a long time. Maybe not when you initially got together, but for a while, it's been an elephant in the room. Uh, what else for coupled cancers? That's an interesting card. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So... It's like, I don't think, 
Your partner definitely is the kind of partner who doesn't want to hurt you at all. And sometimes you might be afraid that they will just because of past experiences, maybe with them, but maybe with somebody else. Okay. But the point is, is that they really don't want to hurt you and you have a lot of divine protection. I don't know if you see all of this yellow and orange and like glow here with the swords, but that is like a protective energy. It's saying, you know, God and the angels are like, we got your back, yo. We're not going to let anybody hurt you. And if they are going to hurt you, we're going to give you a warning. We're going to let you see that before it happens. So it's not very confusing to you what the issues are within your relationship. You've got it narrowed in. You've got it dialed in. You're very focused on what it is. You know what it is. It's just... You're not talking about it because you don't want to have to defend yourself. You don't want to fight. You don't want to have to defend your position. Um, and so you're really tied to this relationship or so you feel, but actually you're not. It's like any other sort of relationship um, that's addictive. So you could be addicted to a person, to a relationship, um, but you know, it's just like cigarettes, okay? Like you know, hey, this is probably going to give me lung cancer, heart disease, something like that. But I do it because I like it. I could quit. It would be challenging. I could. But I'm just going to say that I can't and I'm just going to keep smoking. That sort of a thing. Because there's something fun and there's something that you like about it. And so that's the deal with this relationship right here. So I think the important question to ask here though, is it a relationship that you should stay in? Because I mean, that's kind of where we're going with this. I don't think, <laughs> how funny is that? So ultimately, it's going to be up to you. It's, it's just going to be up to you. There's no yes or no, should I stay in it, should I not? And maybe because it's a general reading and the answer is different for everybody. But, you know, it's just saying know that you can leave if you want to. Now, the bigger question is do you need to bring up this issue of instability or not instability but like um, imbalance in regards to give and take. Well, if you do, it's going to be a juggle at first, but you could bring more balance into that relationship and more happiness as a result. At first, it's going to be like really icky, right? I mean, maybe not really icky. I think that your partner is going to take it pretty well because that elephant's been in the room for a long time and they're expecting to talk about it at some point because it's like you're both aware. Um, but I think you'll both be happier as a result. Now, how everybody decides they're going to create new balance is going to be different for everybody and it's going to be challenging. But I think just finally bringing it up is probably a good thing. You can see that little rainbow right there, right? Shooting out of his hands. Mm -hmm. And hands are all about giving and taking, aren't they? You know, you put out your hand to receive. So, on that note... I will see you again soon, but thanks for watching your love reading, and good luck, Cancers. Mwah!